Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to show you how you can use your Android device or computer as a very cheap spectrum analyzer for use in the RC hobby. One thing you will notice is that spectrum analyzers are mega expensive. I'm not sure why this is. They are just radio receivers. It seems that a spectrum analyzer goes up in price depending on how much it can scan. Our RC frequencies start at 35 megahertz and go all the way up to 5.8 gigahertz. If we want a spectrum analyzer that covers all those bands, then we're looking at silly money. The cheapest handheld devices are the RF Explorer spectrum analyzers. They come in various frequency ranges at various prices. They're still not uber cheap though, much more than $10. There are a few other options though, it depends on how much you are into this. Honestly, we don't really need a spectrum analyzer. The thing is though, I'm a hobbyist, and if you're watching this, you're a hobbyist too. And we want to tinker with stuff, don't we? Luckily, there is a cheaper option we can mess around with. There is something called SDR, which stands for Software Defined Radio. Instead of using an expensive standalone piece of hardware, we can use computer designed hardware. There are a few around, I think one of the first ones was called Y-Spy. It covers just the 2.4 band and is very expensive for what it is. It is a dongle that plugs into your computer. After that, there is something called the Hack RF1. Now we are getting closer to our $10 spectrum analyzer. The Hack RF1 is a USB based spectrum analyzer that covers up to 6 GHz. At 300 GBP, it is still very pricey but it is nothing compared to the standalone variants. The Hack RF1 relies on either computer software or Android software to get us a reading. Do we really need the full spectrum range though? Sure, we could plug in our 5.8 GHz FPV transmitter and it will show us a reading, but we can't really use that for anything. This is where our extremely cheap hack comes into play. You will see these devices listed known as TV tuners. They allow us to play TV and radio on our computers. I have got many of them as I don't actually own a TV myself. Essentially though, they are radio receivers and this is where some people a lot more clever than me have stepped in. Some of these TV dongles use a standardized chip known as the RTL2832U. Catchy, right? Similar to my EasyCap hack, they only worked with particular chips. You can buy these dongles for about $9 or so, and they are widely available. Just search the chip on eBay and it will return a lot of options. They can be used just like the RF Hack 1 device. They don't go up to 6 gig, but I don't really think we need them to. The highest they go up to is around the 1.7 to 2 gigahertz mark, which is plenty for a UHF system. All we need is a USB on the go cable for our phone, or you can use it on the PC too and I will get into that later. The on the go cable has to be really good quality though. I used a bad quality one and received errors so be aware of that. Of course you need an Android device that supports USB on the go. This is not a cheap option if you don't have that. This video is assuming that you already have an Android device or a computer, which if you're watching this video, you likely do have either of those devices. This will not work on an iPhone as it relies on USB on the go, which iPhones don't support. You will then need to buy this app called RF Analyzer. It costs 67 pence, which you can't really grumble at. There's another app that will work called SDR Touch. However, it is more expensive at 6 GBP. My RTL2832U device came with a pigtail adapter. I cut this off though and soldered an RPSMA adapter onto it to fit my UHF antenna. You also need to download the free RTL2832U driver. No route is required for any of this. Plug in your device and open the app. Press play and the driver will pop up. Press OK on that and you can see we have our real-time spectrum analyzer. We can zoom in and out. We can also select the frequency we want to see. I can move my Mobius camera close to it, which is notorious for producing noise, and you can see it is affecting the 433 band. The field of view is quite narrow though. If you want a wider band spectrum analyzer, we can move over to the PC. You will want to download an application called RTL SDR Scanner, and this is a wide band scanner. We can put in our frequency range, here I have changed the resolution to 8 milliseconds. You can set it to run continuously to overlay any changes in the frequency. 
this is something I should mention with these scanners. They are in real time, however, they just scan very quickly across the band selected. So with frequency hopping transmitters, it may not pick up every single spike on the first scan. So there you go, that is my $10 Spectrum Analyzer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.